Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel and it's a nice cold winter morning uh, just past seven and I'm going to quickly service my BMW and um, I've never ever 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 done this uh, service on BMW before so it's going to be a learning curve for me today and we have a couple of challenges to overcome as well so I'm just going to show you guys uh, what I did and what I'm doing um, as we're doing it so uh, here's the car so, as you guys know I've got a E46 uh, 2002 model 220 diesel and uh, what we have is uh, let me just swing the video so what we have is oil the one with the yellow cap is oil that I have left from the last time I serviced uh, my wife's car which is a multi-grade for diesel and petrol um, engines and next to it is another multi -grade. there's still about a liter in this one so we're going to finish this one first then we've got the filter and we've got a container to put the oil in when I'm draining and once it's finished draining to put it in so they can discard it and we've got a stand and we've got the toolbox so uh, this is a very simple service it's just a just a plain oil service so according to what I found out you're just gonna basically change the oil filter and change and drain the oil so that's all that we have to do for today but my first challenge there's no jack point under this side of the car I don't have uh, that block that you need which is on the other side though and I only have one stand I don't have two and I have to lift the car high enough so that I can be able to actually get underneath to drain the oil so what am I going to do well let me show you hi guys subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads lastly feel free to comment show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video my solution to the problem is actually quite simple park it outside in the street onto the pavement like this as you can see I've got a nice bit of clearance there I'm going to jack that side up and put a stand underneath that side which will level the car which should be able to give me more than enough clearance to go underneath and drain the oil problem solved so this is where the stand is supposed to come in unfortunately I had to use this as a jack point and so I put the stand there it's the only place that I could actually find where I can put the stand that is more solid I hope it's the right place I have no idea but as you can see the car is basically level and I've got more than enough clearance to drain the oil now what I've noticed is some of the cars <coughs> in other countries uses um, Allen keys this one is using a bolt a normal bolt to drain the oil so it looks like a 1917 or 19 spanner maybe remember we are metric in South Africa so it's millimeters and I'm gonna drain the oil there and we're gonna see how it goes so yeah everything else looks okay underneath I don't see any wet spots except for here so I've got a small oil leak I think on my steering pump but that will sort out later for now let's just do the let's just do the service okay so as you can see the, the oil is draining and it was a size 17 spanner now what I really like to do is to open the oil cap that shelf what I've done now I just took out the, the dipstick because basically it goes to the same place I can't get the cap off <laughs> for some reason it, it doesn't look like it turns off or maybe it's just very hard I'll see now what I should do there and like I told you guys I think I've got a, a little leak on my steering pump because this pipe is, is wet maybe it just needs a new pipe but uh, I'll get to that a bit later otherwise it doesn't look too bad so while we're waiting for that to drain and by the way here is your engine oil filter 
we'll get to that in a sec. Well, turns out it just needed some love. A little bit of a love tap all around the cap and voila, the cap came off. Now I can put oil in. I was wondering why I couldn't get the thing off. It shouldn't be rocket science, but yeah, at least it's out. And the oil is finished draining. So let's just, let's just make sure that I actually drained the engine and not the gearbox. Yep, as you can see, uh, focus, no oil on it. That means the engine is definitely empty. So I was at the right spot. So because I don't want to keep the car standing on that stand for too long, well, I don't actually have a choice, hey, because I first have to put in the new oil so that we can level it up. And then I will start it, put the car level and just top it up at the end. But for now, let us just uh, close that drain plug underneath so that you don't forget it. And remember to put the new washer key on the filling plug. I'll show you now. As part of your service kit, you get this, uh, come on, focus now. You get this washer, which you put on your filling or uh, drain plug. And this O-ring comes underneath your cap where you're going to take out your engine filter. So uh, let us just close this for now to keep the dust out. And uh, then we are going to um, do that quickly. Here's the, the, here's the filling cap. See this, uh, this washer? That washer. We're going to take that off and put the new one on. And that's it. The new one is on. Here's the old one. You can see how flat it, it presses it so flat that it actually makes it bigger. So uh, let's go ahead and put the drain plug back. Okay, there it is. Now I've uh, discarded all the oil into a container for safekeeping and to get uh, rid of later on. And then, uh, remember guys, my videos are not about how to do it the right way. My videos is how to do it when you don't have the tools, when you don't have the facilities, when you don't have any way else of doing it alternative ways of being able to do the job and that's why I think my videos are a bit different I have noticed unfortunately this jack keeps on dropping by itself so it's probably leaking inside the jack itself so, so the whole weight was standing on the, the stand there and it bent the plate totally fucked what else could we do we, we have no other choice at all so it's one of those things so uh, the drain plug is closed. Um, put the uh, the drain plug. Like you probably can't see it now. Now nah, we can't see it. Not from this angle. But the drain plug is back. So uh, at least we know the oil won't come out. So let me zoom back. Okay, let us quickly uh, change the oil filter there. Okay guys, this is shit funny, really. I never thought I'm gonna use such a big tool on a car. Honestly, this is something you use on a truck, not a car. But here I am, loosening the oil filter cap with a massive ah, three quarter inch drive and a 36 size socket on a car. That is really, really shit funny. Anyway, let's loosen this. Ah. Okay, let me take the cap off and then I will record further. Okay, so I just put my oil pan here so I can catch up whatever's going to be coming out there. Ah. And here we go. Here comes the whole oil filter. <sighs> okay, that's it guys. I have taken the jack and the stand out. It has unfortunately... Um, I wonder if I can show you this. <sighs> it has kind of... Uh, 
bend that plate a bit. Uh, it's bent actually quite a bit, but what else was I supposed to do? When I'm supposed to jack it, where am I supposed to jack it? I don't have a lift or ramps or anything like that. What I have is what I have. But the job is done. The car started. There is no leaks on my engine oil filter. There is no leaks um, at my engine filler cap. All that remains to do now is to see if the oil level is correct. If it needs to be topped up a bit, then we top up a little bit. And then I'm just going to carry all this nonsense back inside the yard. And then I'm going to show you how to reset your oil timer, or how to reset your computer for the next service. Okay, as you guys can see, I have to top it up a little bit with oil. Because remember, once you have it on level, the first time when you start it, the engine oil still has to go through the engine filter and take, that takes about 500 mils, maybe even a liter up of your oil that you had. So remember, you have to start the car and check it again. Don't fill it up the first time and think you're right. So let's quickly top it up until we get the right level and then we can continue. Okay, let's see if the level is right now. This car takes about a full five liters of oil, believe it or not. There we go. And it's up to level. Good. Job is done. Please head over to my webpage at www.cryptzone.co.za and come and check out the page. You will notice there is a lot of information on there. Hyperlinks are provided so that you don't have a problem going anywhere. Head up to my podcast page and come and see what am I currently working on on my podcast. There is also the CryptoZone live page, which I will update regularly to let you know when I'm going to do the next show like this one. The goal is to try and do one every week. Head on over to my CryptZone YouTube page and come and check out what are the latest videos that I am working on and also what new videos is up and coming. If you have any queries or questions, don't hesitate to ask. You can email me at shawl.reaper at gmail.com Okay guys, for those of you who are interested in knowing how to reset your oil or service indicator, um, let me show you. First, press and hold this button and then you turn your key to position 1 and you keep holding it until the service indicator flashes and then you release the button, press it again and you're done. Uh, I'm not sure how am I going to do this while my phone is in my hand. Um, and yeah, this is going to be interesting. Press put on to position one hold it in till it starts flashing release and press again and there we've got it 15,000 K's until the next service which will be an inspection service and that is that my friends let's put on and see there it shows you nice 15,000 K's for inspection and it's been reset so thanks guys thanks for watching i hope uh, you found this uh, educational and enjoyable uh, if you can enjoy something like this but um that's it the service is done well it's been changed the computer's been reset to the next 15,000 k's all i'm going to do now is wash the car which any good mechanic will do when you've serviced the car wash it okay Thanks guys, until next time then. Oh and remember, subscribe to my channel please. And uh, give me that thumbs up. So uh, until next time, cheers.